What's up guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. So in my last video, I showed the Gunfire R official DIY mod kit for making your own Gunfire R uh, light guns, right? And then I got requests for, can I buy the kit without LEDs? You know, for making um, a second player gun. Sure, we made that an option now. And I also got requests for just the circuit boards and um, motors for uh, rumble and feedback. So yes, we have that now too. You can buy a pack of four, okay, just because the shipping one is just not worth it and we're, you know, a business. You can buy a pack of four of rumble motors. You can buy a pack of four of uh, Rico solenoids, or you can just do a half-half if you just want to make two guns, all right? So that's an option. I just want to get that out of the way early in the video. All right, that will be linked below. But today I thought it'd be nice to show you guys all the tools and uh, fun stuff that I, Ray, I use when building your toys, all right? So as you guys know, I do this for a full-time living and I just want to show you guys all the neat stuff and unique tools I've learned and developed over the years that I found useful. So number one, first and foremost, is gonna be your automatic wire stripper, all right? This is super important because, well, without this, you really aren't gonna have much to do. You put your wire in here, you squeeze, and it strips your wire and exposes it to bare wire for you, okay? That's, uh, this is like, I think 15 bucks on Amazon, pretty cheap, okay? Let's get, that's number one. Number two, obviously, is gonna be my uh, trusty soldering iron, all right? You do need this. I, I'm using a uh, point six millimeter diameter solder, okay? The thinner, the better for doing this precision solder work, honestly, okay? And this is the tip I use. It's pretty standard, just uh, pretty slim, and but with a round tip, okay? This is temperature controlled, so uh, I used the two auto brand one. It's like 40 bucks, worth it. I got an extra soldering sponge because this is too small for me and I wanted a, a space to put a big one to clean my soldering iron. Okay, uh, if you're gonna be doing this a lot, this is very important, the uh, smoke absorber, all right? You basically turn this on. Okay, it's, uh, it creates a suction with a carbon sponge to absorb the uh, smoke from the solder so you don't get the uh, smoke inhalation too much. Okay, next up is everyone's must have, a electric screwdriver. Um, I am using an imported one uh, from China called the, the Xiaomi screwdriver. I don't know why, but this is the best one I've used. It's got a really strong torque. It's micro USB rechargeable. I don't think it's available here. I had to have this imported. Uh, I might import some of these and uh, sell them, but um, the profit margin is not terribly high on this. So. And I got a bunch of specialty tips, okay? I use uh, this tip the most, honestly. This is the kind of a blunt-nosed uh, Phillips that uh, unscrews almost everything. It's uh, PH2, okay, size two. Okay, there are some uh, guns that require security screw bits, the tamper-proof bits. Okay, those are important. And then this one, uh, this... Uh, hex bit is used for un, uh, opening up arcade style guns like Time Crisis. All right, some basic flatheads. I don't need to talk about that. And this one is for doing the jolt. This is to undo the nut on the jolt more easily. All right, otherwise you got to use pliers and that's just a pain in the butt. And um, it's also good for using uh, to make Time Crisis pedals. The rest are just basic Phillips and uh, smaller uh, flatheads. Okay. And I like to use just one simple thing like this. I only use one. All the extra tips that came with my kits, I just put them in my drawer because I rarely use them. All right. Uh, some tip tinner to clean and uh, tin your soldering iron. All right. That's important to keep it fresh. Otherwise, you're going to be replacing your tip uh, quite often. I got this uh, spudger type tool. I don't remember what kit I got this from. Uh, I think it's like from a cell phone pry... Uh, oh yeah, it's a cell phone safe pry kit. I love this tool. It's got a flat blunted edge, but it's rounded. And um, this one's sharpened. I use this to remove circuits with um, that have been glued in uh, for too long after, after a while. I, this is perfect for that, okay? My precision stainless steel uh, tweezers, okay? The, these are important. Helps you get a grip on wires. All right, this is basic flush cutters just for getting a nice clean cut of wires. I'm gonna link everything below uh, from Amazon, by the way. So if you're in the States, you can buy it very easily, all right? This is for stripping uh, more delicate wires. I have to strip one at a time and I don't want that other one to be too strong and rip it apart. This is for doing delicate small wire stripping. 
Oh, and uh, also good for crimping stuff. All right, now we're gonna get into my favorite tool. This is an all-in-one portable soldering iron, blowtorch, and heat gun. So what this, this is, is it's butane uh, powered. There's no electricity needed. You get a Ronson's butane gas container, just fill it up like a lighter. Just turn up the nozzle here. And you have a very powerful uh, controllable, heat controllable. You can control the uh, amount of butane that goes through here. Uh, heat gun, and then they have tip attachments to make it into a soldering iron and into a um, into a torch. Like you could use it to like you know light a cigar or something. But with this attachment, I only use it for this uh, heat gun because the nozzle is much smaller than a traditional heat gun, which is like this big. And I don't have to have a whole hot air station. This is just so much easier. I think this was around thirty five dollars. Totally worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there, that's my favorite. Okay, all right, next up is a pocket multimeter. This, for those of you who don't know, is extremely important for finding which wire goes to what. So if you're modifying a gun that you've never done before and you don't know which wire is the up button or the start button or the trigger, you can use this, all right, uh, press function twice until you see that little uh, speaker sign. So when you touch the probes together, it'll make a sound, which means that if you're like saying, trying to find a trigger, put one end at what you think is ground, one end what you think that's trigger and squeeze the trigger. If you hear a sound, you found the trigger. That's how you find a button, okay? That's how you can also see which traces are um, cross connecting, which will cause issues with your Arduino, uh, how you find um, like ground loops, so if you see like a six points are all ground, well then you only have to solder to one of them to connect to one ground. Most of the time, all guns, uh, buttons are all grounded chained together. So this was like a $15 investment, worth it. Okay, this one uh, is very useful for doing things like the GunCon 2 or uh, things that have a lot of little solder points that you need to use the existing wire instead of soldering to the point. This is called an electric desoldering pump. So this model is a little different from others. Once this one has a power supply, all right? You have to plug, you do have to plug this into the wall, okay? And then this is gonna heat up really hot to the point where it can melt the solder. It's got different size tips and there's a hole there. You stick it on, it's gonna melt, you press this button and it's gonna suck, all right? But you have to keep this button pressed down because once you let it go, it's gonna blast out the solder that it just sucked up. And you don't want liquid solder to shoot all over your workstation. So you definitely need to have uh, you know, one of these. So after you suck the solder, let go, it'll come out safely into here and then you can dispose of it uh, later. After you're done like cleaning your solder iron, all your powdered solder, if you, yeah, it's, see it's gonna end up like this. This is the, uh, all this, uh, top, well, this is not, I don't use lead solder because it's a little dangerous, but um, yeah, you're gonna wanna throw this out. Definitely wanna do that once in a while. And brass soldering sponges are very cheap. They're, they're like uh, $5 to a pack of like 10 or something like that. Okay, so desoldering iron, super important. Then uh, here is my heat gun, but my heat gun's a little special. Uh, this one has a very thin precision nozzle, see? It comes with several nozzles. It has a thick, uh, thicker ones, shorter ones, but this one is super long and as small as possible. So I can get really like into the tiny holes that I just want to fill with glue and have a permanent collection, uh, connection. This is very useful for doing things that don't have like a, a place where you can screw in the DF robot support rings. All right, you might just have to use a uh, plain old hot glue. It just people have been using it for years and there's a reason why. And uh, I use Gorilla brand uh, hot glue sticks because they uh, stick the best. Gorilla makes good stuff. Okay, uh, next up is some uh, basic adhesives. Uh, simple black electrical tape, Scotch brand. This is for wrapping your circuits to prevent short, uh, shortages, uh, to prevent shorts, okay? Especially your, re your recoil solenoid after you solder it, you probably should wrap it in some uh, shrink wrap, shrink tube or electrical tape. Okay, this is one of my favorite things in the world. It's called nano gel tape. It's better than double-sided tape. It's not like that foam stuff that just, you know, won't peel off. This is like all one continuous jelly piece, okay? Uh, 
it's double sided. You want to get yourself the at least a two millimeter thick stuff. The one millimeter stuff is very thin. This one is, uh, I think, like this one might be one, but um, it's thick enough. Uh, the, and this this stuff, basically, the reason I say get a thick one is because if you have an uneven surface, right? I'm trying to see if I have an example here. Here. Okay. Let's say you have a bumpy surface like the uh, solenoid board here, right? See, all these points, they, they do stick up. They are bumpy, okay? So if your, your adhesive is so thin, it's not really gonna stick to it. If it's thicker, that cushion will suck into the piece and it'll stay there permanent. Well, not permanently, but it'll, it'll last pretty long. And then if you need to get it out, nano gel tape is a pretty, pretty damn close to permanent. I have to use this thing to, to spudger it up, all right? So, oh, and this can hold up to, I think, like two pounds or more. If you want to, like, uh, put up canvas art or just something temporarily on your wall, this is great for that, too. Thin stuff, of course. Okay, and then for building arcade guns and any other things that need a flush fitting or cutting, you need a Dremel. This is not optional, okay? So what you're going to need is this um, diamond neural bit, all right? Don't, don't use the... Don't use those sandpaper roll ones. Those don't last. You use that for like maybe like a day and then the sandpaper gets ground out. This is metal cross crisscross cut in steel, okay? I think a pack of this is maybe $10, but you get different sizes. I only use this round tip one. It'll grind through plastic. It'll, it can grind some metal, but grinding metal with metal is not a good idea. But for most of the arcade guns, I need to use this at one point or another to get the fisheye lens to fit, okay? All right, uh, zip ties, very important to keep your wires neat and organized. Okay. Giant assortment of uh, pre-cut shrink tube. I don't like to buy shrink tube by the rolls because, um, well, I like to just have little bits and pieces I can just grab and go. I don't want to have to take out a roll, cut a piece. You know, I use this a lot for um, sealing up the solenoid wires after I splice them so they're nice and uh, insulated. Okay, I use uh, this larger, thin, non-adhesive shrink tube to seal up my cables. If I'm doing a USB with recoil, I use this to seal up the edges of the cable. Some Velcro um, ties, all right, these are reusable Velcro ties with a little loophole in them. This is what, uh, what most of you will get when you buy from me if you bought a uh, Rico gun. This keeps the cable nice and organized when you're not in use. And my favorite, Loctite Fun Tech. This is what you use to mount your um, pieces and hold them in place while you solder, and then you can just remove it. This is not like the nano gel tape. This is very easily removable. It's strong, but it's removable. So you get a you know piece like this, Let's say you don't want to have your, you want to just solder something right in the gun. Just stick this on, put the piece you want to solder, it'll hold it tight, solder, and it takes it right off. Or if you're doing the circuit boards, you can literally just rip off a piece of this and use it to mount onto the, the plastic inside. As long as it's not greasy, this should stick pretty damn well, all right? If you found it, and then if you say, hey, that's not the right spot that I want, pry it back up, put it somewhere else, and then use your nano gel tape to hold it down permanently. All righty. Another thing that I like to have for uh, doing the um, like multiple soldering points at once, if I'm using just one point, I might just use the blue tack as a mount. But this is a table mount helping hand. All right, it's got two flexible arms with claws and a screw mount with some rubber grips here. All right, this will fit anywhere from uh, like ultra thin uh, half inch table to like a four or five inch table. Okay, I use this on my marble table here in order to keep things organized. All right, moving on. Do do do, what is left up? Oh. Micro USB headers. So if you, uh, if you need space in your build, you may need to chop your micro USB cable and uh, run the bare wire into here. Just remove the, the insulation so it gets just that much thinner. Sometimes on a small gun like Beretta's, you gotta do this. And the order from this way is always the same. It's uh, Black, green, white, red, all right? Just remember that, because uh, you don't want to keep looking up the chart every time. And then you put some shrink tube over it to seal it up after you solder on. Soldering these is a little bit delicate. You do have to be careful about how much heat you have because the plastic will melt. Okay. 
little business card holder. I use it just to hold my screws. So I don't, so if I know, you know, my gun has nine screws, I wanna make sure I have all nine screws in one place. If you lose them, some of these screws are specialty, like, you know, hex bolt, uh, socket screws, and then you, you can't just buy one of these. You gotta buy like 50 of them, and then you, you're gonna like, oh, hey, is it the right size? Is it eight millimeters? Is it six millimeters? And then you're like, ah, screw it. You end up buying a whole pack of like, a, like 200 screws for 20 bucks, and you you only need one screw, which is silly. And last and not least for, uh, Internal cleanup, this is, and for general use in life, this is called an electric air duster. So instead of actually buying cans and cans of air, you just buy this one time. And uh, it's micro USB rechargeable. I think I only charged this like four times in my life. That's how long the battery lasts. It's like a 6,000 milliamp. It's super strong, It's it's got a focus blast and it'll just shoot all the dust and shavings and crap out of your build, keeping it nice and clean. And then you can vacuum it up later with your Dyson vacuum cleaner. Okay, well, I just wanted to do this uh, fun little content video so you guys could see just how much I invested in tools. And if you guys wanna buy some, you know, they're in the Amazon link below. They're not affiliate links, but it will, you know, it's just good for the economy, I guess. Thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, circuit boards and kits are gonna be in the link in the description below. All sales go to support JB, all right? He gets a cut of all of these, so thank you very much. And that's it. I hope you'll subscribe and see you on the next one.